Hi, I'm Dan Rosenstark with Music.io, and in this video I'm going to show you how to get audio from iMachine 2 by Native Instruments on your iPad into your Mac, uh, into Ableton Live using Music.io uh, via lightning cable, and then after that we are going to um, show how to sync this all up using Ableton Link and see how it all sounds and see how it all works. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to launch Music.io uh, on the Mac. And that comes up with a big gray circle, meaning we're disconnected. I'm gonna also launch Music.io on the iPad. So here I go. And the same big gray circle comes up. And that switches then to a green circle, meaning that we're connected. So that's exactly what's supposed to happen. And uh, now on the iPad, we're going to launch iMachine from within Music.io. It's very important that we launch it from within Music.io uh, to get the audio flowing through Music.io because this way Music.io is the IAA host. So I just um, swiped right from the connected and now I go to the Sound From tab, and in the Sound From tab, I'm gonna add one instrument, and this one instrument is gonna be iMachine 2. And now I tap on iMachine 2, which brings up the app, and now I'm just gonna hit play, and just play it through the iPad speakers and see what's happening. Um, So that's all fine. That's coming through the iPad speakers. What I want to do is I want to hear it through the Mac. So I, in Music.io, I go to Settings, and you can see iMachine is here. I'm just going to monitor this first track, see what happens. Okay, so that's all good. And I shut off the monitor there, and now let's bring it into Ableton Live. So I'm going to launch Live. Music.io still needs to be running. It's the server there. So I'm just going to bring that over. And now in Ableton Live, I just have the default tracks here, uh, which are uh, two MIDI tracks and an audio track. I'm just going to delete these two MIDI tracks. And um, now on this first audio track, I'm going to bring in a plugin, and this plugin is a VST and it's the Music IO VST. Um, so here is the Music IO VST coming into audio track one. And here you see, as soon as it gets a connection, that it shows the name of the device, it shows the name of the track or the name of the instrument that's on the track, and the audio is flowing in and the VU meters are bouncing. So that's all looking pretty good. Uh, the only problem that we have now is that nothing's in sync. So um, for instance, if I were to put on a click, we can see, you can see pretty quickly that the whole thing is out of sync. So what we want to do is we want to get machine to connect via Ableton Link to Ableton Live and we want to share a tempo and share the beat information. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Live Preferences and I'm going to go into Link MIDI and Show Link Toggle has to be on. And this brings up this Link button on the top left. And so now I hit that and now I go back to iMachine and I uh, tap on the tempo and here I see Ableton Link, it's disabled. Just gonna enable it. Connect it to one app, it's already going so it should already all be happening. Let's uh, turn the volume back on. So that's all fine. A click is one thing. Let's uh, bring it in with some uh, clips from Ableton. I'm just going to use anything I have.
So there you have it. That's uh, basically the whole run of the setup. I have uh, gone from audio in iMachine uh, to Ableton Live and synced it up via link. So the pieces of the entire thing were launch the Music IO server on the Mac launch the Music.io client on the iPad and launch iMachine 2 from there, from within the Music.io client. Uh, then drop the plugin on a track in Ableton Live. And now I've got audio flowing. And then just turn on link on both devices. And if they're on the same Wi-Fi network, or even on different Wi-Fi networks uh, that can reach each other, uh, Ableton Link can do its thing and they can sync up and they can actually both set tempos to each other and uh, so on and so forth, all the exciting goodness of Link. So uh, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for using Music.io. Uh, thanks to all of our partners at Native Instruments, at Ableton for providing this awesome tech. And uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe link below for more videos. And thanks for watching and see you next time.